So I've been hearing this clunk every time I take off in my 700 Sportsman. Uh, put it in a gear, it shifts fine. Um, I would uh, squeeze the throttle, it would seem to rev a little higher than normal, and then all of a sudden um, clunk, it would engage, the, um, and the tires would start spinning. And first thing I thought was the belt, so I went ahead and replaced the belt, and uh, that seemed to make things a little better. Um, centrifugal clutch squeezed on the belt better and shift, or shifted a little smoother, but it would still clunk every once in a while. Um, so then I thought, well, maybe it was the clutch. So I was kind of scratching my head trying to figure things out. Started poking around and uh, found out that it was the U joints in uh, the drive shaft. I think my yoke shot, U joints shot. So, how you take that out? I already started taking this out. There's a pin here, and there's a pin that goes right here. I already pounded mine out, but you see, it's not much left of it. Broken half. You don't have to pull the rear differential out to do this. Uh, I put PV Blaster on here, lubed everything up. I was able to slide everything back, and that came off the shaft. There we go. Bring this up to the bench. I'll show you what I did. Uh, now, in the 2002, this slides in and out. So, when you remove that pin, what I did was I made my own punch. Uh, you can buy a punch. You punch out that pin, punch it all the way through, and then this slides back away from the transmission, or differential, I should say, and then you can pull this uh, out from the transmission and it comes out. So if you look at this, this is horrible. I guess they're known for that from uh, the research I've done. I mean, this is all pretty chewed up. This is shot. Um, ironically enough, if you search up the part numbers, they're both the same part number. So you can go on uh, eBay or wherever and buy two of these. I bought two of these. They came with the... Uh, U joint for uh, 35 bucks a piece, and then uh, I already uh, started taking the clips out. These little clips go in right behind here. So what you do is you take a screwdriver and a hammer, and you pop them out. And then uh, if you just wanted to replace the U joints, if your if your yoke was still good, see my yoke is shot. Um, if your yokes are still good, you can just uh, Punch that out and put a new U join in and slide that back together, you'd be good to go. Unfortunately, I'm not that lucky. Um, also, there was a lot of slop on the actual uh, uh, rear diff. So these splines get worn out. Um, so I went, that's why I ordered new yokes. So hopefully they'll slide in there, they'll stay tight, and I'll put the pin back in. Uh, maybe that'll cure my problem. If it doesn't, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a couple holes on the side and put some uh, bolts in there. Because uh, on the pin, it'd be tight, but it would rock back and forth like this on the shaft. So that's my plan. Um, I guess uh, once I get my parts in, I can throw it back together. But if you guys are having this problem, you notice a little clunking noise or a major vibration in the rear end. This is probably your issue. So, um, hope this helped you out. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I've got uh, other uh, players fixes on there. I'm currently in the middle of uh, replacing the uh, wheel bearing. I'm posting a video on that pretty soon. Just got to finish it up. But, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. And always, till next time.